we cannot condemn them uh, blanket. Sure. Speaking of tweets, you tweet a lot, don't you? Well, you're I, very active. I love it. You, you and know, uh, um, <laughs> uh, Ahmed Kadar Ahmed yeah, is Kadar very good. Well, He's yeah. my partner in crime, I call him. <laughs> but you know, I, I tweet because I want to change things. You know, and we this is a very powerful gadget. You know, Jay. You know, the Inspector General of Police is on Twitter. Everyone is, even the president's on Twitter. And then the funny thing is. Um, we like complain a lot as Kenyans. Yes. Uh, for example, uh, if there was uh, one person who had, in an institution who was corrupt, we'll go, ah, he said, I can't you believe you're corrupt. Mm. You know, that's, that's not right. It's nonsense. It's nonsense. Because if I see a corrupt city council as carried, for example, the next person that I will hold responsible is, the word, is my ward administrator. It's, nothing got, it's got nothing to do with Uru Kenyatta. Mm. You know, yeah. if, if there was a corrupt police officer, the next person I'll see is my inspector, the chief inspector, the OCS. Mm -hmm. If he can't do nothing, the OSPD. If they cannot do nothing, tweet. Tag J. Bonnet alone. Do they respond to your tweets? Absolutely. A lot. They do? Yeah, I've, I'm, I've got a lot of very respected followers, by the way. Yeah. My one is... Uh, Go on. No. <laughs> I can't reveal it. <laughs> but, you know, a lot of these guys, like Kidero, uh, this, you know, the governor... The, yes. The Inspector General, they all follow me on yeah. Twitter. And they, 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 they know when I tweet, I'm not doing it out of ill, ill speech. Yeah. I'm tell doing me, it out of Tell fact. me something, do most of you guys have IDs? That's a, uh, I'm asking you, Roho Safi. Do you all have IDs? ID, ID card issue is a big problem in Kenya. Yeah. Uh, there are some youth in, in Islina or in Mandera or in Garissa who finished their high school some three years ago with no identification cards. And that needs to be remedied. That needs to be changed. Yeah. Because um, you, can, you can imagine uh, a youth who finished his high, his high school in 2012. Uh, He's he not 2021. He, he will now have finished high uh, university mm -hmm. with no identification. That hampers his personal development. It hampers his career, career development. And, and I, I, I urge the government to look into that. And, yeah. I, and I think they started, they started the process. Yeah. And I want them to uh, roll out that exercise quickly. Mm. Yeah. Don't worry, by 2017, they'll all have IDs, huh? I, I'm, I'm sure. I, they will. I'm sure they will. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, I asked you before the break your relationship with one majority leader, Aiden Dwale. What's up with that? Aiden Dwale is a fantastic politician, he's a brilliant guy personally. Uh, very devout Muslim, um, and he's doing a great job for this country. He's the best majority leader that Kenya has ever had. You're serious? Seriously. Because if, if you're in a team, you want someone like Duale in your team. That guy, that guy will protect you <laughs> to death. He's an attack dog. No, no, no that's, not a, that's not a fair <laughs> word to me. He's, you know, you know, the guy has, knows the, the, the constitution of him. Yes, back to front. Back to front, like the back of his hand. And he's, I think he's the, the cornerstone of Jubilee government. You think so? Seriously. But some people say he won't be elected in 17. Hata Rudy? Why not? Hata Rudy? No, he's, let me assure you this, and, and we can sit here in 2017, <laughs> September. September, yeah. With Hondra Baduale <laughs> as member of parliament, Garissa Township, yes. and leader of majority in National Assembly. Really? Take that to the bank. Tell that to Farah Malam. Wow. I have no problem with Farah Malim. Farah Malim is a great leader, by the way. He's fantastic. He, he was a deputy speaker, uh, but he has no chance in Garissa Township. Serious. So you guys are tight? Me and Dwale? Yeah. We're friends. He's my brother, my elder brother. I, I love him. Yeah. He's, you know, because he's a very honest. When you, when you are with him one-to-one, -one, you know, people, and this word, psychophancy, it, it has lost meaning, to be honest, because when you're in the opposition, you're just a supporter. When you're in the government, you're a psychopath. Mm. You yeah, know, that's some, what they say. You know, it's, it's, it's not right. This guy is driving the Jubilee agenda every day and night. He's currently in London, meeting uh, members of parliament in London. He was in the House of Commons today. He tweeted about it. Mm -hmm. The guy is going places. Yeah, I can't fault him for, for being ambitious. Yeah. And I think he will go... In fact, there was a time that I tweeted that... Uh, Honda Bodwale will be the first Somali president in Kenya. <laughs> Somali Kenyan president. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. I hope that dreams but, come. But you were kidding, right? No, I wasn't. <laughs> Why not?
first you know, Somali they're, president. There are a lot of Somali, Kenyan Somalis who do a brilliant job in this country. Yeah, they Amina are. Mohammed, for example. Oh, yeah. Oh, Edin Mohammed, yeah. Honorable Yusuf Hassan, yeah. IEBC chairman. It's These guys are fantastic. And they do it uh, because they love this country. And people who profile and, you know, talk bad about Somali community should look up to these people. Yeah. They're brilliant. Like Amina Mohammed, she brought us the pop, Obama, World Trade Organization. WTO. You know, the She's good, huh? World Trade Organization. Yeah. Hopefully the British Prime Minister will be here next next year. This year. We've got a lot yeah, this year. We've got a lot a lot to look up to in this country. We have a beautiful country. And uh, the beaches you have seen, standard gauge railway is almost complete. Fantastic. You know, we, we, we like you said the PhD syndrome is, is among us. Let us embrace the positive things in our country, not mm. the negative things. Yeah. So tell me something. When, when people call you, and, and you know, ordinary people call you in his sleep, you're in your house with your family, you just had, a, you have a three month old kid, right? Yeah. yeah. So you're busy at home, uh, uh, you know, feeding this kid or whatever. And women call you, men call you, people call you and say, listen, man, there's something happening in, on yeah. First Avenue or on this street, that street. I get out and help them because I'm, I'm that person they look up to. And, and, and I get pleasure in that. I love it. Uh, because I keep repeating this, if not me, then who? Uh, there was a scenario the other day um, whereby an old woman called me and she said there was some young guys who were playing loud music and it's about nine o'clock at night. Please help me. Because that old lady is looking up to me for help. And you know what I did? I didn't even get out of my house. I called the ward administrator. I said, in that block, in flat A, B, C, there are some young people who are playing loud music, please help. And he sent his people on the ground. Five, ten minutes later, she called me and said, God bless you. <laughs> May you go places. Are you serious? And that is, you know, you get the pleasure. There are some guys who call me and they say they've been arrested by the police, even though they have their identification cards. And I tell them, where are you? They tell me maybe Fourth Street in Italy. I call the inspector, the OCS, and I say, listen, Bonamna Tessa Watuba, Niwapi Ahmed. And they say, hey, listen, let people go. Let do. We want Isli to be a 24-hour economy. And as a community, we have our fair share. We have to do our bit. That's why the garbage problem, some people were killing me on Twitter, literally, because they were saying, Nindo Mamaga Chafu. And it's, it is true to some extent. There are some restaurants, uh, some mirror traders who throw garbage haphazard. But after we made noise, a classic example is Kilimanjaro Food Court. That roundabout in 12th Street, uh, junction of First Avenue mm. and, and uh, General Warwing yes. Street. It's been beautified courtesy of Kilimanjaro Food Court because they have taken a you know, upon themselves to beautify that area and it looks brilliant yeah what about so that roundabout we met you that time and oh that, uh, that, that and we drove is, the wrong way yeah <laughs> what are you doing then that's impunity man. <laughs> you're driving the wrong way Jeff. <laughs> oh don't worry you look like uhuru man. <laughs> take a break we'll be back no i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> yeah can this place we're talking about it being restored to its former glory. You know, East Lee in the 30s and 40s was like the place. It was called East Lee. Yeah. You know, East Lee. California Estate. Uh -huh. Beautiful place. There you go. With white buildings. Caliph. Caliph. Everybody wanted to be there. But now it's... You know, I, I think it's also with social, the, the, the way people are, people are getting into a different lifestyle. Yeah. It's about... It's never about somebody else, about me. People don't care about the environment. Yeah. People don't care about the Do you think you people have a, a wrong reputation? You think your reputation has been tarnished uh, badly or, or unfairly? Unfairly, that's the right word. Yeah. yeah. Unfairly. But we're trying to change that. And then when we come back, if we have time, Isli uh, is, is a brilliant business hub. You know that every bank has a branch, if not two branches in Isli. There are 33 bank branches in Islay. Think about that. 33? 33. Standard Chartered Bank, an international bank, has a branch in Islay. Imperial? There is a branch there. Barclays, two branches. First Community Bank, two. Gulf Bank, two. Chase Bank is going to open another branch. This, 
these guys will not open up two, three branches in Madari or Karibangi or whatever else, even Lavington. Yeah. They are not two, three bran yeah. branches. They know the value of businesses. I hear even Nakumat is coming there. Nakumat is coming. We've, going, we've got over 40 shopping malls in Asli. 40. With thousands of mini shops inside. The biggest shopping mall will be coming up in two years, I think. It's, great. it's, it's called Comesa. It's, it's on a seven acre land and it's going to change the skyline. Really? Obviously. And when you see young men, when they tune this good stuff, yeah. when you see them there in the streets, do you go up to them? Do you talk to people like that? Or, or is this still a way of life? Is no, Mira still a way of life? We have, you know, uh, Mira is just uh, another social thing. Yeah? It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's someone that does their own thing in private. You cannot, no one can enforce uh, upon any, or infringe upon any other person's privacy. But we've got a problem with young people who are in a gang, uh, the famous superpower gang, yes. who rob and, you know. They're still prevalent, huh? They're still prevalent. It's still a problem. They're still a problem, yeah. Still a problem. But now there's an undercover police force that's tackling them. And the gang issue is not exclusive to Islam. We've got the Gaza, all these other gang problems yeah. in, Islam, in yeah. Nairobi. But uh, little by little, step by step, we change in Islam for the better. And these guys call themselves superpower? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know them? Some of them. Do you talk to them? Some of them. Yeah, I talked to them. They, they, we had a lot of uh, youth forums for them. Uh, some of them shunned that uh, criminal uh, ideology. Uh, and there are two types. Some of them have been sent from the UK and the Western countries for rehabilitation. They've got some problems abroad. They came here to be rehabilitated. In but, Italy. But they got to us. In yeah, Italy. For their fa yeah, to their families and friends and relatives. Uh, because their mom and their parents thought that they were going the wrong direction mm -hmm, mm -hmm. abroad. Yeah. But and here, here became... some of them are on drugs. They use a lot of drugs. And that's what makes them go and mug and drop yeah. uh, people. OK. Ahmed, I want to take another break. Come back. Talk about the future. I can't believe you don't want elected office. I mean, you know, people just... say you should be, maybe you should be MCA. Maybe you should be appointed MCA. I will be your running mate when you want to be a governor for Nairobi. <laughs> Is that a deal? <laughs> deal. No deal. <laughs> you, can't, you can't beat Kidero, man. But you, you know, uh, listen. Kidero is unbeatable, unless your name is no Mike Sonko. No comment. <laughs> I was going to say something. But... Say it, man. Say nah. it. Nah. When we come back, man. <laughs> By then, we will have forgotten about it. We will have, yes. <laughs> Keep tweeting at Asmali77. But why 77? Why did you say Revolution Day? What was it? No, no. I want people to...